Well, now it's time for our truth or fake segment with uh, France 24's Vedika Behal. Vedika, uh, claims have gone viral that the Israeli army has been uh, showering southern Gaza with explosives that are disguised as cans of food. What more can you tell us at this stage? Yes, Rochelle, as uh, calls about famine in Gaza become more and more pressing, a video has gone viral uh, claiming to show booby-trapped cans of food that are being dropped on the Gazan people by the Israeli army. Now, this video was shared hundreds, if not thousands of times. Uh, this is one example that had enormous reach, over two million views there, uh, by the Palestinian Quds News Network. Here's another by the Times of Gaza with over 100 and 66,000 views. So let's have a look at the video in question. Now, in this video, the, it's uh, what we are shown uh, by the person in this video is these multiple, these metal uh, cans. It is written here in the caption that, according to local sources, Israeli jets dropped cans containing explosives as bait for starving displaced Palestinians in southern Gaza, and that two children, a man and a woman, were killed by these fake cans. He goes on to, to explain in Arabic, uh, although it's not very, very visible, uh, audible, sorry, it is, uh, it is explained that, these, uh, that the packaging here is extremely dangerous, and as we can see, he does show us a little bit what's inside the can as well, these small metal uh, discs. So the claim here is very much, if we take a look at one last example, is very much uh, that these are being uh, dropped to resemble food uh, and then exploding in the hands of the Gazan people. And of course, this is a very uh, poignant moment as, of course, the UN uh, continues to, to, to say that Gaza is, in fact, facing catastrophic hunger. Um, so that's what we are looking at today, Michelle. Well, Vedika, look, having looked at these kind of viral claims, can we confirm what's truly uh, inside these metal cans? Well, Rashad, it does appear to be that I'm having a few technical issues, so bear with me. Um, yes, so when I looked at this last uh, post there, we can see that there was, in fact, a close-up of that can visible. Now, on the close-up of the can, there are two words uh, written there, fuse mine. And in order to decipher a bit more about what this means, the France 24 observers reached out to an expert for a little bit more uh, knowledge on that. They reached out uh, to an expert, Hajj Boudani, uh, who is a former army soldier and a consultant specialising in EOD, which is Explosive Ordnance Disposal. And he explained to us uh, that those metal boxes that we saw there in that video uh, are in fact the storage and packaging, uh, if you will, for something called an M603 mechanical pressure igniter fuse of American origin. Um, and what that M603 igniter essentially is, is the igniter uh, required to set off, to initiate a mine. And what these cans are there is essentially its storage container. It is also visible in this military diagram here that there is a keyway uh, attached to the bottom of that can, which is what we are seeing uh, in our video. Now, the person in the video also sh showed the actual fuse as well. That's what we saw uh, in our video there. And yes, when it is compared to a, uh, a military uh, awareness site, this is the awareness site of the unex uh, unexploded or 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 ordinances <laughs> sorry, uh, website, it does match our M603 uh, fuse entirely. So, Vedika, as it's still uh, military uh, material, you might say, could this uh, igniter still be explosive? Well, according to our expert, uh, these boxes by themselves would not uh, cause an explosion, um, as the container's purpose is entirely uh, to protect the igniter during storage and handling. And he said it would be useless uh, on its own. According to Badani, it can still be dangerous uh, if played with, of course, uh, because it does contain a small primary explosive charge uh, intended to activate the actual mine there. Um, but as we can see here on this uh, on this website, uh, a pressure of 200 uh, up to 140 to 240 pounds, so that's up to uh, 108 kilos of pressure is required to actually activate uh, that mine itself. Uh, it's also impossible to determine whether these uh, igniters that we're seeing there actually belong to the Israeli army uh, or not at this moment in time. But what we can determine, Rochelle, is that with the help of experts, this is indeed uh, a storage container. Those cans there are indeed storage containers uh, for a type of igniter for a landmine. All right, Vedika, thank you very much with our truth or fake segment. Thanks.